welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name's Davina, I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 23rd of January 2023 and a big, 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 big welcome to everybody. And anything that I mention today is going to be down in the description box and anything uh, and anywhere you can find me is also going to be down in the description box. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, as you will notice, I'm not actually up in the workroom. It's so dark outside, even though it's gone. Oh, oh, from my wrist. <laughs> even though it's quarter to 11 in the morning, it is so dark. I just popped out to do some shopping and I, we still had all our headlights on in the car. So this is the best light I could find where you could actually see anything because <laughs> upstairs you just couldn't see anything. Oh, and also, this is a hundred, uh, episode number 134. <laughs> right then, so it has been a big, exciting week, even though I am still full of this, whatever it is that's going round. <laughs> it seemed to have hit me really hard again this time, but hey-ho, we're still rolling along, rolling along. So, but yes, I have got three finishes, and one of them you didn't even know I'd started. I know, I know. That is Elmo. He's down there playing with my tripod. So if you move around slightly, it's him. <laughs> Yesterday, I sorted out my lovely craft trolley that I have here by the side of me. So what I'm going to do in a bit is I'm going to um, uh, record just a little video and pop up the end and explain to you what I've got where and why I have done it. But oh my gosh, it, uh, it's been really an exciting week. So I think we are just going to hop right in, I think, to be honest with you. Um, we have got um, knitting. I'm looking down at what I've got. Cross stitch. Uh, I'm going to show you the patchwork that I've done because just in case you weren't interested in the tutorial, which I understand not everybody is, I'm going to show you what I have done um, to start, you know, to the, the progress um, from uh, of the quilt. And I am plodding along on my fireside blanket. So I reckon this week is, I'm trying to this week get the centre part done. Because, oh, I'm really, really hoping to get the centre part done. I have some naughties. Yes, I just thought of that. <laughs> oh, well. But it, I had some Christmas money that I'd had, still had. And I thought, well, why not, you know. <laughs> So, yes, I have a couple of naughties. And, yeah, so I think we're going to hop right in, shall we? As I say, dull, cold. Oh, my gosh, it's bitter out there today. Absolutely bitter. But there you go. I don't know what it is with this big freeze that's hit the UK at the moment. <laughs> we moan about it going down to minus three, and I know we're living in Canada. Minus three is nothing. <laughs> but we still moan i think us brits are just well you know what i mean we just enjoy moaning about the weather don't we <laughs> oh well oh well such is life okay then right first of all oh my gosh i'm so excited i've got these finished because they're like a whole month early than what they should be so hold on a moment as you know for my brother uh, for his birthday because that's his 50th in april no it's not that's my birthday <laughs> At his 50th in March, bless his heart, he's going to laugh at that, I tell you, uh, when he watches it. I am knitting him the, um, which you're not supposed to know about, actually, did he? Just act surprised. <laughs> uh, the Painting Brick Socks by my honey, Stephen West. These were so much fun to knit and I'm definitely going to be casting on another pair. I really am. And, oh my gosh, I don't know, it... It, oh, I, I just loved every stitch and I couldn't put them down. So this is the pattern. It is a painting brick socks. There you go, by um, Stephen West. And as I say, oh my gosh. As you see actually on the pattern, he has done it all the way down the foot where I, I'm still thinking, especially for my brother, that will be too uh, knobbly for his feet when he wears them in his boots and so on. So... And I have done them in his favourite football team. He's doing it again. Do you remember last time I recorded down here and that little lad decided to use his litter box? <laughs> He's a 
funny, isn't he? <laughs> anyway, I'm doing it in his favourite football team colours, Manchester United, which he has supported since he's been toddling. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and he uh, has a big foot, as you see. It is, you know, the, these are the biggest socks I have to knit for anybody. <laughs> but I have done the red the black and the gold and then on the uniform or strip or whatever it's called they have a little bit of white uh, but um, I'm doing these in drops I've done these in drops fables and they had an off white so I've done that for the heel and I tell you what that heel that Stephen West has put on these socks is just amazing I love it I can see me putting this heel on uh, on all my socks from now on um, I really can it is just brilliant and then I just did the red right down to the end with a uh, wedge toe. I did these on Magic Loop and I did them on a 2.5 because that is my, you know, my go-to needles. But um, yeah, oh, I absolutely love them. So all the ends have been stitched in. <laughs> it took me some time, but I did it. I can't remember what I was watching, actually. I was watching something on the telly and I thought, well, if I get it done... <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fine and then um yeah so i'm gonna wrap these up for him for um his his birthday just a little extra prezi for me you know because glenn and i have also always also got him a, a couple of bits as well but this is just a little extra one from his big sis because he is the baby <laughs> believe it or not being 50 but he is the baby oh dear me and he has a big heart does my bruv he really does have a big heart Oh dear. Oh, now Elbow, he's a good boy. You'll hear him running around now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just so chuffed with these. And this is not going to be the only pair I knit, I'll tell you, um, using this pattern. Yeah, you're a good boy, Elmo. Good boy, sweetheart. You have to tell him he's a good boy. But when I do mine, as I said, in, in, was it last week or the week before, so I'm going to use a solid for the outs, for the main colour and then I'm going to use a self-striping, like West Yorkshire spinners do a lot of uh, self-striping. And um, then I don't have to sew in all the ends and change the colours. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do for mine. But I'm still going to do the, uh, what's the name, the plain foot. I really am. But oh my gosh, I love these socks. Hopefully he will like them. Right then, so that is the knitting, but I have a finished object. Now, <laughs> let's go over to the cross stitch, shall we? Now, as you all know, oh, excuse me. I have been doing the, oh, let's take that out of there for starters. These patterns were gifted to me. Lizzie Kate good things and it's called snippets and there is a, um, a, a um, by the looks of it where did I oh here it is snippets there is like a collection um, so but this is the good things out of the snippets collection and it says good things come to those who stitch because I needed some spring I have got a couple of spring uh, so I needed you know just a couple of more bits he still thinks he's a good boy. <laughs> so there is that all finished. I am so chuffed with the way that turned out. This is the piece of yellow Ada that my lovely friend in Scotland that she went um, and bought in my advent. And oh my gosh, I just love it. All the threads are just, I looked at the picture. What have I done with it? Oh, I'll put it back. I look at the picture and then just match what I can, what I've got out of my box. So they are all DMC, I will say, because I love working with DMC. And yes, so this is a heart, what they call is it a, it's not a fully finish, it's a half finish. Then I turned around and said that I was going to do the St. Patrick's Day one, which is also a Lizzie Kate. So yes, the St. Patrick's Day. So I got, I went through my stuff and went through me, um, threads like I did with this one and just matched matched it and got a piece of cloth and uh, I thought well what I'll do because I I was going to put it at the end of that one and I thought well no I'll do something different this time and I had some um 25 count Lugana which is a Swigart which I brought from Wool Warehouse cool ages ago now and I so I cut a bit off and I thought I'm going to be brave I'm actually going to do this 
and I'm going to cast it on. So I finished it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm well chuffed. I found the little horseshoe, which is there in my little charm box upstairs, which I use for the stitch markers. And that should, there you go. Cut those bits down. But yeah, that is my St. Patrick's Day one. I am just so chuffed. I actually got <laughs> one cast on and finished that you didn't even see that was cast on, if you know what I mean. So yes, I've got to finish these two so they can go in my um, dough bowl over there. And then now I've got enough for the the spring summer because I've got some over there for bunnies and obviously March is the St Patrick's Day and my granddad was Irish bless his heart so I never met him but uh, yeah he was from Ireland so uh, I always like to do something you know on St Patrick's Day I normally buy Glen Guinness. <laughs> can <of> Guinness. <laughs> so this year I said to him you probably won't get your can of Guinness mate <laughs> or oh, he, he will <laughs> he'll get you <laughs> he'll have a, uh, only one I swear to buy him one <laughs> And um, he uh, and I brought out my. Uh, I already have out my St Patrick's Day, so I'm well chuffed with that. I have kitted up. Where is it? Here it is. Let me move this over. Just take this off here for the moment. There we go. Right, I have kitted up a new one, but I haven't even put a stitch in <laughs> yesterday. I kitted up yesterday. And I thought what I'm going to, oh, where is it? Um, there it is. This is another one that's been gifted to me, but I just think this is gorgeous. And uh, this I'm hoping to be able to put down here somewhere, uh, or even in the hall, because oh, no, I've got one in the hall and I've got the sheep one. But this is a Country Cottage Needleworks. Now, I've never, ever done one of theirs before. And when I was going through my bits yesterday, because originally I wanted to do the, uh, autumn ones that uh, my lovely friend Jeannie, hi Jeannie, um, um, gifted me when she gifted me the Stephen West uh, yarn and, and um, bits. And um, and I thought, no, I'll do them ones like in August time, ready for autumn. And uh, so I thought, well, no, I'm in the mood now for the spring summer. So I have chosen Count Your Blessings. I just absolutely love it and I can't wait to get it started um I do you know I haven't even had a look at the chart I just oh that's all right actually I love I, I must be rare in, in the way I craft because I love books hand sew and bindings on the quilts where there's not many quilters that do and I love doing solid work <laughs> in uh, cross stitch where a lot of people get bored of that at all so uh yeah i just love it i just do all the outsides and it's just filling in and it that's the way i look at it oh i absolutely love it so what i will what i've got chosen let's yet again the only thread i actually had oh actually in this one i didn't have any threads that was um listed i have literally uh just picked out what i've got from stash you know what I mean? There's no point in going to buy it when I've got loads upstairs. So, where is my threads? <laughs> Gosh, hang on. Bear with me. Ah, oh, here they are. Right, so I have picked again another piece of 25 count Lagana. And I thought, why not? I'm in the mood for that now. <laughs> so I'll do that. I thoroughly enjoyed um, doing the St. Patrick's Day. And I have chosen these colours out of my stash which they're the same color how do i put it like the blue is the blue i'm using the blue where they've used the blue but it's just a different number all dmc except for the classic color works for the sheep now i'm thinking because they've said white and mm, i don't know i'm thinking of going for the 12 dash grain because it's a slight off white because let's face it you don't see a pure white sheep really do you you know and snowball i thought is a bit too bright so i'm thinking i'm going to go with this one so anyway but i put them both on there and i will go on and um, put it you know i'll stitch a couple of stitches in each in the corner and see but they all seem to pop on the lugana i'm sure that's a lugana i did actually bring the packet down so i could show you Yes, it is. And this is the one, yet again, it's a Swigart. It's a pre-cut, which I got from Wool Warehouse. I got uh, this colour. 
a collar I used there and then I got a mottled. Um, this one is, they're 19 inches by 27 inches. So they're a really, really big piece. And uh, they weren't that expensive. So this is what I actually uh, am using, which is to say the 25 count Lugana. And I absolutely love it. So yes, I'm all ready to start that. And I am really, really, really looking forward to that. Okay then, right, so that's the knitting and the cross stitch. But as you see, I have done a lot this week. <laughs> so let's pop that there. Now, oh, let's get me box up. Ooh, this is my patchwork box and the quilt that I'm making. Now, the pieced blocks, uh, which was done on the machine, are out of Laurie Holt's Vintage Farm Girl Book 1 and 2. And what I'm doing is in between... I'm doing English paper piecing squares. So let's show you. So that is the cowboy boot. I love anything like country music, uh, anything Western. When I actually lived in Canada, I oh, I did the line dancing because I weren't obviously like I am now. And I did line dancing. And then when I came back here to the UK, everywhere I went, I did line dancing. Oh, I absolutely, even here... And that was one of the really hardest things that I had to give up when my legs went on me. And that was my line dancing. I absolutely love it. I had the cowboy boots and the jeans and the t-shirt and all that. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Dolly Parton, Wee Nelson. <laughs> love them. <laughs> so anyway, there's the cowboy boot. <laughs> okay, eventually. There's the cowboy boot. That's why I did that one. That is my English paper piece one. Okay, in the middle. So this one here is being edged in scrappy, and this one is being edged in the cream. And then here is just oh, here is just a random, basically on the end. So now I've got to put on the end of this another English paper pieced one. So I've got to make that up, and then that's going to be the width of it. And then all my other blocks that I've got in here are all done. All the pieced blocks I've just got to make the English paper pieced ones now. So, I will explain to you what I have actually done when I do my little trolley tour in a moment. So, I'll explain what I have done and how I have moved things around down here. So, last night, when Glenn popped into work, I did, the, uh, did a couple of bits on my fireside blanket. And as I said, I would love to see if I could get the middle done this time, this week, which would be absolutely lovely, absolutely fine. I'll be happy with that. So this is that, and then that's the top row. And what I am finding easy, and also this is another big, the next one to go along is a big square. And that is how far I've got on that. So I'll be attaching that in a moment. But what I am finding that I, it's easier for me to do is because obviously everyone that done one in the roads, rows, I have been doing all the centres and then the second row, then making them into squares and attaching them. So this is actually the remainder of that that second um, row, basically. And um, yeah, and I put it on my little pin that my friend Teresa, hi Teresa. Um, gosh, it's not last year it was the year before this was in um my advent so uh yeah i'm putting them all on there and uh yeah so i really am hoping to get that done i really am um i think now we will pop into the noughties because that actually is going to take us into a new cast on when another naughty arrives so <laughs> i'll explain in a moment <laughs> As I said, I had a bit of birth, uh, Christmas money. Let's get my... Uh, right, okay, yeah. I had a bit of Christmas money. And, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to treat myself. <laughs> oh, why not? So I went back to Emma Ball because she's still got her sale on. And as you know, I did get her penguin... In, in sweaters uh, bag because I'm waiting on the release ain't I for the gnomes because I've got the gnomes uh, the crafty gnomes I've got the stitch markers in a tin I also did get the bookmark but I've left that upstairs so I'll have to show you that next week I'm afraid and um and I also thought well I, I can't just buy a bookmark who 
could just buy a bookmark. <laughs> oh dear. So I added a couple of other things from her sale in the uh, in my basket, and I thought, well, why not? So to go with the this here, because one of the, you you lovely viewers gave me the idea, because she popped over and got some of the stuff in the sale after I showed my project bag and said she gets the little purses for notion pouches what a great idea i hadn't thought of that so i got the little purse this is all in the sale little purse and it's got little st um, stitchy birds on that's what it's called and that goes in because obviously bird it's related oh it's a postman <laughs> it's a rarity uh, <laughs> that is the uh so that goes in there with that one so i got that so that goes in there Then, because I couldn't resist it, and you know when you actually look at something and you didn't get it and you think, oh, I wish I had it done. This is the sunflower one. Yet again, in the sale, this bag was only $4.99. It's got beautiful stripe inside, you know what I mean? And with me experience working in a, a haberdashery shop, do you know what I mean? This thick, heavy-duty zip could be more than that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but... Oh my gosh, and because they had one, I got the little purse to match, <laughs> which is a Notions pouch, and I am so excited. So I've got all my little bits and bobs in there, ready for, I'm all ready, I'm just waiting for the needles. I went through all my box of needles, and I did not have the right size needles for these in anything, in any size cable, and because now I've gone over to the um, what should we call it? Uh, the magic loop. You know what I mean? I couldn't even have, I didn't have anything, literally nothing in, in, in any size cable that I could have used. So I thought, well, you know, I've got to get them because I really, really want to make these. And these are the Doddle Socks by, um, by Shutter Monkey, which is on Ravelry is Amanda Clark. Okay. The lovely Amanda. Oh, she, she really is a lovely designer. This is a free pattern and it is DK. I have never knitted a pair of DK socks and I thought well I'm going to get the needles and I'm going to get myself a, a decent pair. Yeah I could have got you know the, the cheaper version but I did go for the unicorns because <laughs> I just love those needles and uh, so I got one pair and because uh, you know I'm just going to do one at a time with these because they just seem to be flying off people's needles with the DK and upstairs when I went to Yarndale cool, that was some years ago now and I was lucky enough to go and visit Lucy from Attic 24 I actually visited the attic I went to Cooper's had a lovely cup of tea and then went upstairs and visited Lucy's attic and oh my gosh it is just like what you see in the pictures on her blog and all that lot oh my gosh it's lovely and bless her heart she had a table where you could just take a free item well on there there was a i don't know why i took dk i took a dk west yorkshire spinners so i thought after i've done these i'm going to do a pair um using that for my glen hopefully i'll be able to get it out of 100 grams i'm hoping anyway so anyway, um, these, uh, Amanda has done them as a shorty, but I am going to lengthen off my uh, leg and do them as a longer one. That's all you've got to do to make it longer. As I say, a free pattern. And I've got my yarn. I haven't caked it up yet, but as soon as my needles arrive, I'm waiting for the dispatch notification. I am going to do them in the, oh my gosh. This is the Discreet Unicorn. And it's called Pumpkin Patch. Ain't my socks going to look amazing? <laughs> this was gifted to me by my lovely, lovely friend, Susan Paul and Judith. Hi! Uh, for my number 25 um, advent last year. And I'm just checking, yeah, Sparkle, Sparkle DK. And I just think those socks are going to look amazing. So as soon as they pop through my letterbox... <laughs> I am going to be caking this up, or probably cake this up beforehand, actually, and cast them on. So you never know. I could have a pair of socks or at least one sock um, ready to show you next week. Fingers crossed. 
Okay then, I think that is it. I am going to um, say take you over to here and show you what I have done with my middle shelf of my trolley because I have literally sorted the whole thing out and I'm so happy with the way it's turned out. <laughs> it's funny how little things like that, isn't it? You know, Glenn said to me yesterday, he said, what are you doing? I said, oh, I, said, just, I took everything out and put everything back and then the bits that I weren't using, I thought, what are they doing down here? Oh, excuse the sniffing, I really can't help it. Um, but yeah, oh, just loving it, absolutely loving it. So, until my needles arrive, I am going to be working on my crocheted shawl, which is not a shawl, it's a blanket, <laughs> a crochet blanket. Here by the side of me, I have my little Stevie Westy um, M cow, which I am plodding along with now. Yeah, yeah, doing little bits and bobs and picking it up. But my aim is to get it finished by autumn because it's got all the autumn colours. So that is my aim to get it done by autumn. So, yes, I've got plenty of time for that one. <laughs> OK, then. Right. So I am going to bimble off now. And I am, I think that is everything for this week. But I have been a busy little teddy bear. <laughs> As I say, I'm going to take you now around my trolley so you can see what I have altered and what I have done. And I will be back on Wednesday because we do have a couple of what have you been up to Wednesdays. So that would be really, really lovely to show you those. And um, Friday, I haven't decided yet, but there will be a tutorial, but I haven't decided what it is. I think because I've done a stitching, I might do a yarny related and then go to stitching and then a yarn and try and alternate them a bit, you know what I mean? Because not everybody do the one thing, do they? So, okay, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Oh dear me. Okie dokie then. Right, so I am going to go and please, please keep nice and snug and uh, warm in this weather. The old hot water, oh my God, just quickly, I've got to tell you this. Was it, uh, we were in, <laughs> got in bed last night and I was reading my book. Glenn was doing something on his phone and there was Elmo in between us. Uh, you know, curled up, snoring his little head off. And Glenn went, do you know what? He said, that's freezing cold. He said, there's us two. He said, with the, the quilt and everything on. He said, there's him lying on top of the what? water bottle. <laughs> it was right in the middle. The old water, old water bottle was in, um, in between. And he was plonked right on top of it. He was snug, he was. <laughs> Spoiled rotten is the word. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I will see you on Wednesday. So please take care, stay safe. And as always, my lovelies, happy crafting. Bye. Right then, okay. So this is my trolley that I have. Look, by the side of my armchair. This is my armchair. <laughs> and that's my little coffee table with the bits on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is my little tape, my little trolley. And I've organised it where I've got, these are the pens that I use more and pencils that I use more often that I mark things off. There's all my little extra scissors down here and they're my highlighters, uh, different tips of highlighters because I use those for marking bits off as well. So up here, obviously hand cream because we all need hand cream, working with fibres. In here is my cro different crochet hooks and these are my fancy crochet hooks. Obviously a pumpkin, had to be a pumpkin, didn't there? <laughs> in here is my little yarn, um, no, my needle toppers, and under there is my different stitch markers. Oh, say hello. There is Elmo, so you've all managed to see Elmo this week. Hello, baby. <laughs> and, uh, yep, so this is my little English paper piece in, that I did. That was in Vlogtober, I think. No. Yes, I think it was in that one. Okay, this is my little box of bits and bobs. These are like, you know, my little needle watsets and extras and overflows. That's, um, you open that up and that's a magnetic board. And there is my lovely, lovely notebook that my friend Teresa got me. And that gorgeous books. Oh, on here I've bought a little hook. And here I have my tension square, my... Kitchener Stitch, what's your name? And my sock ruler. These are just little extra bags that I love to keep. Now, what I have actually changed, let's put your back around this way, is here is, gonna, is my English paper piecing now section. Let's get rid of that. 
obviously plasters. <laughs> These are the fabrics in a little um, container, plastic thing that I brought with the trolley. And in here are all my fabrics. And, oh, I've got to show you that. I'll do that next time now. And here is, um, in here, this, this sewing box my Rebecca brought me is all my English paper piece piecing bits and underneath is all the papers but my Rebecca brought me this years ago and I thought well, it's easy then just to grab out I've got because underneath the chair I've got one of them unfold out tables and uh, that's what I do my cross stitch on so I'll be doing that on there as well and then on and then under there I have my two knitting bags this one has is going to be the new DK socks for my needle arrive this one is my grabber sock and that is my new cross stitch to cast on so, it's a lot more tidy. I really, really like it. I am thinking, though, of what did I think of this morning, of getting another hook, a sticky hook to put here. I did have two upstairs, but as you know, I have, which is over there, this beautiful little fur baby <laughs> that we all love to bits. And he obviously been playing on my shelf and I can't find the other one. So he's obviously hid it somewhere. <laughs> and then here, I, I did actually buy this rack. It does cut, it's bought separately like the plastic doofers. And uh, this is against the chair and this is where my little notepads and my patterns. And uh, that is my fireside blanket pattern. And everything goes there. So it's all grab worthy as they say. <laughs> Let's go around really, really. And there's the, the bits I showed you today. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that is my sh lovely craft trolley. And I'm so happy with the way it's turned out now. And especially now I've got my English paper piece in downstairs. I'm just so happy with the way it's working. Elmo! Elmo! He's a big boy. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you all and I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye.